Hello everyone, I am Hatice. I'm an EFL teacher and I currently work in a private primary school located in Matma. The title of my presentation is From Coffee Shops to Superhero ID Cards, Introduction Linguistic Landscapes to Young Learners in a Fun and Creative Way. Through my presentation, I'm going to talk about the idea of my lesson plans, general information about the target group, application of the lesson plans, outcomes of the lesson, and my reflection about this project. Uh, the concept of linguistic landscapes is a dynamic term that encourages us to analyze the language around us. And uh, integrating linguistic landscapes in language teaching is a way to help students to meet the language outside of the classroom. For that purpose, I chose two topics to apply in my, in my classroom. One is coffee shops and the other one is ID cards. Actually, I took the advantage of the language education system in our school. We have general English and we have connection lessons. In connection lessons, we use content-based approach. We teach math, science, social science, and some art lessons by using English as a means. So for my general English lessons, I chose the topic coffee shops. Um, you may be thinking about if is it suitable for young learners, but before conducting these lessons, I asked my students if they like the coffee and it's um, the coffee shops are quite common in Turkey and they do not only serve coffee, but also food. So uh, it's um, quite likely for them to be in a coffee shop before. Um, and uh, I saw an article about the history of Turkish coffee on their Turkish language course book. So I thought it, uh, could be a, it would be a good idea to apply this topic. Uh, and for connection lesson, I chose uh, the ID cards as the topic since everyone has an ID card and it has a connection with social science lesson because they had this uh, topic in their social science curriculum and the old Turkish cards were monolingual, but the new Turkish ID cards with chip, they are bilingual, both English and Turkish is written. So I thought it would be a good idea as linguistic landscapes. Target group, uh, I worked with, with a group of four fourth grade students. The, their language level was uh, A2. This is a small group because of the pandemic we use with small groups. We work with small groups. Uh, lesson one, was a general English lesson. It was about coffee shops. I specified some target vocabulary and I provided the target vocabulary during the lesson. Some of the vocabularies are takeaway, tall, medium, short, coffee shop, steamed milk, milk foam, napkin, coffee cups, and challenge. I started my lesson with warm up question. Uh, to make students familiar with the topic, like, have you ever drunk coffee? When, which coffee? Do you know how coffee grows? And I showed them a video about how coffee is made on YouTube. Do you know the countries grow coffee? Can you name three kinds of coffees? And after asking this question, I showed them a video about a famous coffee's recipe. I told them uh, this coffee was very popular at the beginning of the pandemic when everyone is current, uh, um, in the quarantine and they were making this coffee and sharing this on their social media, media accounts. And it was a challenge. And at that time I provided the word challenge. Um, and I asked if they know any coffee shops in our town, what are their names, if they have ever been to a coffee shop before. Visual analysis. This photo is a photo of a famous coffee shop in our town. Uh, I took the picture and I 
ask a couple of questions to my students to make them analyze uh, the photo and the language they see. I ask the name of the coffee shop. This is a funny question because the name is already coffee shop. Uh, what colors do they see? Is it a small or big coffee shop? And I asked about the opening and closing times. Then I uh, showed them the menu and I asked them which coffees do they see on the menu? Uh, and if they ever heard or drank any of these coffees before? And I asked them to tell me the ingredients of each coffee because the ingredients are written on the cups on the menu. Then I showed them uh, the photo of cups and I asked about the size of the cups, like short, medium, tall. Uh, these words were in the target vocabulary. And at the end, I showed uh, the cups and napkins photos because uh, there are language written on them and I wanted my students to analyze the language. At the end of this lesson, we had two bridging activities. Bridging activity one was about designing coffee cups and napkins. I asked my students how would they design uh, their coffee cups and napkins if they, or, um, they owned a coffee shop. Here you can see some works of my students, like it is funny o'clock, be amazing, very delicious. Uh, one of the students wrote the type of coffees on the napkins and smile, there is coffee. Uh, they were so creative. Bridging activity two was acting out. Um, one of the students was the owner of coffee shop and the other one was the customer and they role played by using the cups and napkins they designed. And my second lesson was uh, about ID cards. Again, I provided the target vocabulary during the lesson. Some of the target vocabulary were issue date, expire date, serial number, ID number. And I started my lesson with warm-up questions. What's an ID card? Do you have an ID card? What can you do with your ID card? And what kind of information do you have in your ID card? For visual analysis, I showed them uh, some ID cards uh, from different countries and I wanted them to analyze it. What do you see? Which country is it? Is this ID card belongs to a man or woman? Uh, and what is his or her name? I asked the date of birth, issue, time, issue date, expire date. And I asked them, do you see extra information than Turkish ID cards have? Because this ID card is from Nigeria and on this ID card, there is an information about the hate which we don't have uh, on Turkish ID cards. And I, I ask for what other purposes it can be used because behind there is a logo of MasterCard, which means this ID card can be used as credit card. We had two bridging activities. Bridging activity one was pair work interview. Before this lesson, I asked my students to bring their ID cards um, to the lesson and they paired up and they interviewed with each other to get the information written on their partner's ID card. Bridging activity two was superhero ID cards. Uh, my students chose um, their favorite superheroes and they designed the ID cards of their superheroes and they added information like, uh, what kind of powers do, would they want uh, their superheroes ID cards have? This is Hulk's uh, ID card. Um, here, gender, you see male, female. I asked my students and a student and he said he wants Hulk to be male and female at the same time. And superpowers, super jumping, very, very fast running and very, very big feet. 
this is Elsa's ID card. My student wanted to give uh, her surname to Elsa. And this is Batman's ID card. Um, I liked this ID card because it is funny and creative. Uh, so her name is Bat, name is Batman. Father name, Birdman. Mother name, Rabbitman. Nationality, Bat's country. And this is Deadpool's uh, ID card. Um, so what were the outcomes? First of all, it raised awareness of linguistic landscapes among students. There was an element of fun uh, and it, it increased participation of students because the materials were authentic. And it made me think about more ideas to plan lessons. And lastly, I'm really proud of being uh, the, a part of this project called Linguistic Landscapes because it's really increased my awareness to the language surrounds me and I encourage everyone uh, to apply these ideas in their classrooms because um, they are really inspiring uh, and students really like them. Thanks for listening to me. If you have any question or if you, um, want me to share my lesson plans and PPT, you can just uh, send me an email through my email, hickson at outlook.com. Thanks again.